Since 1990, the United Nations has observed World Population Day on the 11th of July. The purpose is to focus attention on the urgency and importance of population issues. This year, we are marking the day by launching the 2022 edition of the World Population Prospects, the venerable collection of global population estimates and projections published by the United Nations. I am John Wilmoth, Director of the Population Division of the United Nations in the Department of Economic and Social Affairs. I would like to share with you six key messages. The world's population is still growing, but the pace is slowing down. We expect to reach 8 billion later this year, 9 billion around 2037, and 10 billion around 2058. The global population is projected to reach its peak size in the 2080s, around 10.4 billion people, and to remain at that level until the end of the century. Growth rates differ across countries. Today, China is the most populous country, but its growth has been slowing down. Sometime in 2023, we expect India to surpass China to become the world's most populous nation. The population above age 65 is growing faster than the population below that age. In 1950, there were many more children than older persons. From 1950 to 2050, however, we expect the population above age 65 to grow from 5 to 16 percent of the total. By 2100, it is projected that the global population above age 65 will be considerably larger than the population below age 15. Countries with aging populations should take steps to adapt public programs to the growing number of older persons. Today, two-thirds of the global population lives in a country or territory where lifetime fertility is below 2.1 births per woman, roughly the level required for zero growth over the long term. Some of these countries have experienced long periods of very low fertility, below one and a half births per woman. As a result, the populations of 61 countries or areas are projected to decrease by 1% or more between 2022 and 2050. Population change in high-income countries is increasingly driven by international migration. Over the next few decades, migration will be the sole driver of population growth for this group of countries. For low-income and lower-middle-income countries, population increase is driven by an excess of births over deaths, which is much larger than the net outflow of migrants. Whether they are experiencing net inflows or outflows of migrants, all countries should take steps to ensure that such movements are safe, orderly, and regular. The COVID-19 pandemic has had significant demographic consequences, affecting all components of population change, including mortality, fertility, and migration. Global life expectancy fell 1.8 years between 2019 and 2021, due to excess mortality associated with the pandemic. The impact of the pandemic on fertility is less clear-cut. For some countries, there is evidence of pandemic-related fluctuations in births. Elsewhere, it appears that the pandemic did not noticeably affect the trend in births. The pandemic severely restricted all forms of human mobility, including international migration. In the world population prospects of 2022, the pandemic's impact is reflected in the estimates for 2020 and 2021 and in the first few years of the projections starting in 2022. A path towards a more sustainable future requires demographic foresight, which involves anticipating and analyzing major population shifts before and while they occur, and adopting forward-looking and proactive policies guided by such analysis. You can find additional information about the global population on the website of the United Nations Population Division. Thank you.